Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Percy's Ever Present Past. We are already at episode 18, and I'm here with a very good friend of mine, Henry, aka Crimson2091. What's up? Thanks for having me. You know, I think the best part is not only is I'm, am, am I interviewing him, but this is the second person I've done live and in person. Like, yeah, we're actually here with also Multi Green Thunder, but he's in the bathroom. We're kind of doing this without him, so like yeah. we, we better hurry up before he comes out. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go through this quick before we see him again. Yeah. So uh, quickly. <laughs> so we'll start with the beginning. I love starting with the beginning. So you joined in twenty. 13. Yep. You are here now seven years, almost to the day. We just barely missed your anniversary. Yeah. So well, let's talk about that. What made you join the community way back when? Okay, so I had bought, I, so before I like finally joined YouTube and started making videos, I was on and off and in, in from when I watched Thomas as a kid and then to when I joined YouTube. I was on and off with Thomas, like I'd be interested and then get out of it, be interested. I'd watch videos on YouTube and then like I and then I'd not be interested in it again. But then one day, one time I I was making I, I used to make like these videos on like these D V D or VHS cameras with my cousin when we were way younger. And one day one time we were doing that with uh with with uh, the wooden Thomas trains we had, but they were, you know, adult themed, you know, there was, there was this one story, it, but it wasn't anything super over the top. It was like, it wasn't terrible, like raunchy stuff. It was just, you know, some like goofy stuff. Like there was this time, like there's a story we made where Thomas, uh, picks up a hitchhiker and then it turns out he's an escape prisoner and he doesn't realize it. And then there's this one where Percy goes into the mountains and then there's like this hillbilly guy that like, and he pours moonshine in his tank and gets drunk. <laughs> and, then, and then there was this one where Gordon breaks the record for his express, but then it turns out he was using steroids in his coal, like huge steroid scandal. <laughs> yeah. It, like, wow. it, it, it wasn't anything super over the top. But it was still, you know, it still had it had some like inappropriate adult themes to it, you know. What what I find interesting about that is like usually like when people go for a non a non children's friendly series, it's more of a darker tone. Yeah, but yeah. yours is more of a comedy. Like yeah, you know? and even yeah. those storylines, those are cool. Like yeah, I, I might I might I might remaster them. Like sometime. Gordon using steroids to, to <laughs> yeah to break a record. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, the, <laughs> getting an engine drunk. Like, that's yeah. great. Yeah, well, I might remaster him sometime. Oh, that'd be just, fun. just for the heck of it. Like, I mean, on on my on my channel as of now, I kind of like keeping it like mm -hmm. uh, rated G and making it making my stuff like kid friendly. Like, I I choose to do that. You know, yeah. I could I I could you know make stuff like that if I wanted. But right now, I like doing what I'm doing now. But anyway, why I bring that up is because. Uh, I start while we were doing that. I started actually getting back into Thomas. I was looking up the new wooden railway stuff. This is 2013 now. I saw that Flying Scotsman was getting re-released for 2013, wow. and that was something I always wanted as a kid. Never got. So I was like, dude, I really want this. So I got it, and then I started actually making legit like stories with mm -hmm. my with with my Tom with the wooden trains I had at the time making a railway series remakes because I didn't have the I didn't have the editing knowledge or technology to like actually use TV series audio. Yeah. So I did that and then that's kinda how it started. I, I find I made an end of eighth grade. Uh, I was fourteen and that's when I made my finally made my channel. And and then I just went from there. Wow. You know, I think what's crazy about that is the fact you say what kind of made you join was the, the re release of the mm -hmm. Flying Scotsman. I think that's what did it. And like, to me, it's like, it seems like you came, it seems like you joined the community before that, and that came out, like, well after. Yeah. So the fact it happened at the same time. Is yeah. Like, yeah. It kind of, yeah. even though you're about my age, it kind of makes me feel old. Like, man, I remember when yeah, the, I didn't the join. Flying Scotsman was I didn't join, because you joined when you were, like... Well, two thousand eight. So I think I was like eleven or twelve. Something yeah. Like so that. I, I didn't. I kind of. I was. A, I was. I wasn't super late in the game, but I was. I wasn't. I didn't start way younger. You know. 
but you know, yeah, it was, it, yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, I mean that that's great. You know, as we're talking, like I've been looking at. So we have his Wikipedia page open right now. So I gotta ask about like the the Henry, uh, your 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 icon. It's not Henry, but it's Wilbur. What makes it Wilbur? Okay, well. I uh, I actually just recently changed it. It was originally a thing at Tom a picture of Thomas, but I alternate. My first picture was like of a 1992 Thomas, and then I made one with like Wilbur with Indiana Jones Lego Indiana Jones on the platform. I thought that was funny, and then then I had a few. Then I had one of Thomas, and then I had this one now. And the reason I had Thomas because it was Thomas. I don't necessarily have a favorite character, you know, like most people do. So. I kind of just stuck with Thomas, but then I thought, I, I got a new sky backdrop recently. It's not blue poster board anymore. It's an actual sky backdrop. And I thought, well, I might as well change it so that it's updated. And I thought, you know, making that, my making Wilbur my profile picture. And the reason why I choose Wilbur of all things is because Wilbur's kind of my, like, special item. It's not necessarily the character that, like, makes it a special uh, item to me. It's how I got Wilbert. When I was a kid, I had the yearbooks and stuff. And they had the retired friends page at the end. And, like, it didn't show pictures or anything. It just showed the names and what years they were released. And I saw Wilbert. And at the time, I didn't know who Wilbert was. And then, you know, when I was on the internet one time, back then I looked it up and I'm like, and I saw Wilbur and I was like, oh dude, he looks really cool. But then I was saying like, yeah, he's retired. He's no longer available. I'm like, dang, I'm probably not going to get him. This is before eBay. This is before, you know, I was on eBay or anything or before like my parents like trusted like me to buy stuff online. I was only like seven or eight at this point. But anyway, uh, one day I was at Walmart and I saw a Trust Tom's DVD with Wilbert in it, and I was like, dude, I gotta get this, and I like begged my mom to get it for me, <laughs> and she luckily she did, and I'm thankful for that, that's good. and that's that's how I, that's why, Wilbert, I guess you could say Wilbert's the first, like, rare item I had, or the first item I had where I was aware that it was, yeah. I, I don't know if it's necessarily rare, but it's like a... Well, I mean, you're item. right. It was it wasn't out for long. Yeah, I think they probably made more than they wanted. Yeah, so that's why that's why like you got the you got the 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 DVD with it. In yeah, it. man, don't you miss those days when you could go to like I I think Sam's Club is where I would go a lot. And yeah, be, yeah, be like I got Lord Harry. That was like I think Lord oh, Harry and Terrence. I never saw Earls. You I, saw Earls? Yeah. Oh, well, we got multi take me here there now. now. We we got multi here now. By the way, hi everybody. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm going to be on the show. <laughs> uh, anyway, next question. <laughs> You're on it now. But yeah. Do you want to <laughs> No. Oh, man. I miss... I, I did get... I think I got... I for sure got Lord Harry because I know for a fact that's where I got it. I got it in a DVD. And I think I got a Terrence. In I too. never saw Ertles in VHS. I only saw Wooden Railway. Yeah. I mean... 95% of what I saw were whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's, I think that was the most common. I maybe saw a tank along. If I did, I didn't, I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you get tank along? Right, well, now, now I don't even have that option. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding, take along's good, don't kill me. But, alright. That, that was good. Ne next question. Okay. <laughs> that, wow. He, okay, guys, he keeps facing me like he's gonna ask me a question. I'm like, okay. This is I'm, mine! I'm, this is I'm mine! I'm trying to, ch to not chime in too much, but he's literally looking at me like, okay, what do you want from me? I just won't look at uh, Maltai anymore. Uh, so <laughs> It's my episode. So <laughs> it's I, my episode. It's gonna be my episode now! <laughs> I, I wish I had a bit, little bit of a better transition there, but I didn't. <laughs> uh, so... Despite the lack of a good transition, we'll go to the next question, All which right. is your series. You have... Two of them, one Thomas focused and the other not. So let's yeah. start. Look, look, I just want to say right now, I have st I have two series now. You you know what that means, right? I'm not a remake channel. We'll get so to stop saying that. We'll get to in a minute how he's a remake channel. Dude, come on! This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> but for now, we'll talk. You're about really his, do his series. All right. Fine. So so he's got two. Uh, we'll start with the Thomas one since that's older. So so just what what made you start it? Uh, what what. What, what are your future plans for it? Basically, it just started because it, it was everyone, almost everyone at some point made their own stories. And that's what started with me. And I decided to make the name Adventures on Sodor. Little did I know there was a series, like, 
uh, I, there was a series before that called it, like, back really? in the day. Back in the day, like, man. Way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was an eight show guy. I, I, don't, okay. I don't, I'll remember his name, but, like, he... That's what most people think of, I think, when you hear Adventures on Sodor. But my series is going on right now, so that's cool. But anyway, yeah, that's just how it started. And, and it, yeah, it kind of, I didn't have seed. Well, I did technically have seasons back then, but I, the only reason I had them is because everyone else did. Like Keith yeah. Ray, you. Um, You're not kidding. Like, literally, I think if yeah. you had a GWIC, you, you had seasons. You had yep. seasons. And then... And then, uh, yeah, that's the only reason I did that. But then uh, I started using, like, editing stuff. At that point, I kind of reached a writer's block, and then I only did, like, TV series remakes because I was finally able to, like, make good ones because I had I, – I finally f got around to, like, doing Movie Maker, yep. and I did that. But then – in 2017, over the summer, this is so like summer after my senior year, I, I uh, got really because usually you know I, I did sports in high school, I played football and wrestled, and usually over the summer I had football practice or wrestling and stuff. But then summer after senior year, I wasn't doing those anymore. I really didn't have anything to do, so I started really working more on videos because I had literally nothing else to do, mm -hmm. and I thought you know I might might as well update my setup so. I put up Sky, but at the time it was just blue poster blur, but it was better than just like that wall. And then I started using ballast. Well, there were aquarium rocks, but I used ballast and then more scenery and stuff for my remakes. And then that that uh, that inspired me to reboot my series. And I saw all of a sudden got all these ideas for stories. And in in uh, I started with. Uh, Wilbert and the Passengers, that was my first reboot episode, and, okay. and like, I consider from that episode on, like, my, fit, like, like, videos of mine that are worth watching, and I really, and, uh, it's been going strong ever since I just uploaded a, an episode in April, this, this is June right now, by the way, but it, I uploaded a story in April, and I'm working on a remake, oh, crap. I'm working on a remake right now, and I think I know I know what Percy's thinking. Don't, don't you don't you say <laughs> oh, it, okay? I mean, Princess I think he said it himself. Remake channel, dude. Come on, dude. You're not supposed to be here. Get out. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. All right. But but yeah. So so you got that. Crimson in the remake channel. Dude, come on. <laughs> Stop. I regret nothing. Well, on that transition, remakes. You really like remakes. Would you consider that to be what your channel is? No. A remake channel. No! Stop! <laughs> He's still in denial. Man, I get I guess it's I get this karma because I kinda pop I'm the one that popularized the whole remake channel joke and now it's like coming back <laughs> to bite me. It's but haunted you. I I am working on a trouble with mud remake right now, so Nice, nice. That's, that's... So you got that. And let's talk about your other series. Oh yeah, yeah. On the Big Boy series, yes, I like how I made I made the I made the video I titled I didn't know what to name it all the way up to when it was finally finished, so I just named it Union Pacific 1941 because that's when it takes place. But everyone just even me we just call it the Big Boy, the Big Boy video. <laughs> so that started because in 2018, like this is as far back as 2018. Uh, over the summer, I was working on the Trackside Tunes collab with Train King James, Roma's TBR Empire, Mike Mike One Two Three, Wooden Railway Only. Now, uh, Fred Cole Car, I'm sorry, and then, uh, and then, Thomas Wooden Remix. And one day, like we were just talking, like we we'd have meeting calls where we where we'd go over clips and stuff, this and that, and then whenever we were done for the night, like, we'd still chill, sit in the calls, and then we were just chilling, we were just talking about all sorts of Thomas lore and stuff, and uh, the difference between the TV series and Railway series, and James brought up, like, was talking about how, like, the Railway series universe is pretty much just real life, except the engines, except most tr transportation have faces and can talk, and then Sodor's there. Everything else, like pretty much everything that happened in like real life, in real world history, 
happened in the Rayo series universe. It's just those two main things were the di are the difference between the two. And that got me thinking, you know, uh, about like American rail history. I'm like, I wonder, and 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 I realized, or I, or I thought to myself, like, what would what would you know stuff like the big boy and the Union Pacific? What would that be like if they had faces and can talk like in Thomas? And that's where that idea kind of came from. And uh, I it was two years basically or one and a half years of you know writing the script thinking of what to do making the customs for it and yeah that's and then casting voice actors multi multi voiced in it yeah. i voiced the i voiced the dad yeah 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 he voiced the dad that's what saturdays are made for exactly and the cars yeah. Also, I'd like to bring a mention too. I think he's either the first or one of the only ones who have ever done a, a wooden railway American series. Like, yeah, I, it I, might have been done before, but you're one of the only ones who's done. I might, I might, I might be the yeah. first. I, I'm not sure. I can't think of too yeah, much. I didn't. I didn't really think about that. Like, it's, that's one of the things. Like, you know, when it comes to like the wooden railway community and the communities in general I'm, like I'm kind of like everywhere I j it's I just so happen to use wooden railway as filming I thought about doing some Asia stuff someday but yeah right now like I like I like using wooden rail it's it's, it's all it's what I've it's, always it used. works yeah. it works well to film with you know yeah but and I'm not too sure because some people a lot of people were saying like dude I can't wait to see what you do next I'm gonna be honest like I haven't even started on the next script I have I like I've, I've thought of ideas for mm -hmm. it so far mm -hmm. it's just that you gotta keep in mind it took almost two years to make the first yeah. one so getting I to episode two is hard yeah yeah when's your episode two coming out <laughs> he's beating he's abuse. beating Percy abuse no I mean, I'm just gonna take his series and have like 400 episodes yeah you wish you wish so, oh, by the way, what's Branch Line and Carnival's episode 2 coming out? I canceled that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, episode 2's already out, so ha, Maltai. Yes. But, but yeah, so, uh, I, I, you did a pretty good job. I really enjoyed watching. I remember, actually, last year when we met up, you talking about yeah the, yeah the yeah so it was cool to and at that point it was it. at that point it was almost a year in the making at that point yeah. so yeah the, so, it took a while but now that I got like customs and stuff made. And I kind of have experience doing it, and then experience of writing and making videos in that sense. Like I had never used voice actors in video before. I never made like, you know, big customs like that. I made repaints and stuff like in before, but not like ones where you actually have to like do, do do sign and cutting and stuff or molding the faces. Those remakes, dude, come on! But anyway, yeah, that's. Like, it, it was really fun. And now that I got experience doing those things, I feel like moving on, like, with this series, it might be easier in that sense. But who knows? Yeah. We'll see. Do you think with the, your two series, the Thomas one and the non-Thomas one, plan to continue both? Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Uh, I'm working on a, I'm, wor I'm working on Adventures on Sodor Story, writing one up, and then, I, and then I'm also working on that kind of stuff, the script stuff, too. Mm -hmm. So, I'm like for the big boy and stuff. Yeah, continuing both. And then also doing remakes. My main thing in the fandom, you know, you got like your crossovers and stuff. Both both you guys. And then my main thing is like filming like wooden, actually like filming videos on sets and stuff. Whether it's stories or remakes or, um, you know, something that's not even Thomas related. Like I like, I, I just like filming. So you did mention the word crossovers, and I have done two with you. Yeah. So any plans for future crossovers? And uh, I'm gonna be honest, like my main, like when it comes to crossovers, it's usually like if someone like comes to me like, hey, you want to do cross, like what you did, you know, yeah. that, that's how we became pretty good friends. And yep. I was like, yeah, sure, like I'll do it. Like I did, I did a crossover with uh, Duncan Wind Railway back in 2016, and unfortunately it's not up anymore. It was on YouTube six one. That was a lot of fun, and then. Mm -hmm. That was my first crossover, and then the two you I've done with you, the, I've done three. Hey, you know, I'm sitting next to people that both I've done crossovers with twice. So maybe it's time to join forces with you two. And Super crossover! Let's go! Justice League! There you go. So, yeah, crossovers. You, you, you gotta love them. Yeah. So I guess uh, as, as we approach the end of this interview, uh, 
for as we're at this point, it's June. I actually don't think this one will be out too late. I think it'll probably be July when this one is mm-hmm. is released. But uh, so with that in mind, any future plans this year? For your channel, what do you think is in store for it this year, next year? Well, I'm maybe? planning episode two of my series. Dude, get no, no, no. out! It's not you! Cool. But anyway, man, well, I'm going to finish that Trouble with Mud remake, and then after that, I'm going to try doing a cut. Like, I, I have I have a thing, I have a custom showcase thing, Crimson Customs. I, um, I'm going to plan, I'm planning on doing, doing one on the big boy. And then, after that, I don't know. But, usually, like, after summer, I kind of, like, die off and then don't come back. Maybe, you maybe. die? Well, his hair the, pink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get that <laughs> reference. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I and then sometimes in the um, winter break or something, like in the winter, I'll do stuff. Yeah. But yeah, that's usually how it goes. I don't really know. I kind of I don't I don't have an upload schedule. I don't have like a video schedule. At, at, like at this point in like my time in the fandom, you know, because it gets to that point where you just don't have the time to like think that far into it. You just work on videos when you can. Yeah. And yeah. yeah that's may, maybe I'll try finishing like adventures on that adventures on Sodor story I'm working on. That's mm-hmm. and then actually starting on the big boy. The next big boy episode, but yeah, yeah. you know, as, as crazy as our world's been with the coronavirus, you know, yeah, it's easy for things to change one way or another. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. It's nice having you on for episode eighteen. Uh, anything you'd like to plug before we hang it up? Uh, just my YouTube channel, Crimson Two Zero Nine One. That's really it. <laughs> All right. Well, be sure to put that in the description. Yeehaw! This is his. Nice little return to community radio since he decided to quit out on us. Sorry, it was an accident. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, Do you want to join me for the community radio strike? Let's go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> community radio is unfair. Person number six is in there. Staying at the concession. Playing our oppression. Okay. Before this becomes into a big strike, we are going to end this video. So thank you for being on here, Henry. No I'll die. Thanks for sitting here. I'll see you in court, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Bye. Bye.